Wait, chat, say hi to Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charles. Charlie. <laughs> Char Char. Would you watch a mother getting tortured live every Sunday? The challenge was he would have to survive in this apartment on nothing but his winnings from sweepstakes. He would not be allowed to leave or communicate with the outside world or have any access to anything that he didn't directly earn through magazine sweepstakes. Out there in Japan, I want you to go out there and find a mastermind and put him in a f***ing box, okay, and make him do the same sh**. That's all we go. I've been hearing about this. What the f*** is it? What is this? What does this mean? Most evil live stream ever. In the late 90s, a very popular Japanese game show. What's up, Charlie? Man. Wait, chat, say hi to Charlie. Chat, say hi to Charlie. Say it. Say hi to Charlie. Hi, Moist. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charles. Charlie. <laughs> Char Char. I For bet. Year, a good Charlie. Broadcast it every Sunday night. This isn't like okay. reality TV. Wait, hold on. And broad is a very popular Japanese game show tortured okay. a man for a year and broadcast it every Sunday night This isn't like reality TV where it's all fake and scripted not to ruin Christmas for all the believers out there yeah. This was legitimately torturing another human being for the sake of entertainment and it was what? extremely popular averaging 17 million viewers every Sunday night that they'd play the clips that's what? absolutely massive, even by today's standards. It's more viewers than the last four years of the NBA Finals and the World Series. What the and obviously... Bro, that, was, that was a f What the f that was a, that was What the f Niggas came together to watch that shit! That was a celebration! The f did that nigga do? That was an extravaganza! Oh, that bitch! What? More niggas watching that in the NBA Finals! ...than most television shows get. For reference, the boys' season premiere got around 8 million viewers, and according to YouTuber Atrocity Guide, who also covered this story, the most viewed episode of Game of Thrones got around 16 million viewers. Game of Thrones peak, bro. Chat, 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 chat. Who was there? I know a lot of y'all were, a lot of y'all are young, a lot of y'all can't comprehend certain, you know what I'm saying? It's not your thing, I know. But who was there watching Game of Thrones, bro, while the episodes were dropping? Yo, Twitter was that was that that was peak Twitter for a show for a show that was peak Twitter for a show that was peak Twitter for show show wise that shit was crazy, bro. The episodes would be trending for days, bro. Oh, I wish y'all were a part of that shit, bro. It's dead ass Game of Thrones is the best show of all, all time up to season six, and then it falls the fuck off, and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. So it even beats that. Just an absolutely massive success, but it doesn't stop there. The producers knew there was okay. still a little milk left in those teats, and they were. that ten Scotty, remember? So they actually turned. We go to Jordan's house and Pete. Weekly broadcast into a full-blown live stream where you could log on. Bro, it's forty minutes. Stop pausing. Hey yo, D Brass. I don't know if you're new around here, but uh. Bitch ass nigga. Feeling particularly quirky you could hop in there and watch a man be miserably tortured for the better part of a year doesn't that sound like That's fun tough. what a great way of starting the day a nice bowl of cereal and milk for <laughs> breakfast and watching That's a man's tough. sanity slowly deteriorate no, i haven't seen the trailer he dances around naked in absolute agony real funny wonderful buddy. keep watching This is the story of Nasubi. Talk to me. As I briefly mentioned, another YouTube Talk channel named Atrocity Guide made a great video on this topic, but I wanted to go even deeper. So Sorry. we, Caleb, Chelsea, and I, really did a fucking thorough deep dive, spreading the foul cheeks of this situation wide open, going mm -hmm. through live streams, all of the okay. broadcast clips, in order to really get- Okay, let's be on- let's be on it though. Let's be on it though. Let's be on it though, chat. Can you just watch the fucking video? It's Charlie show some respect. The more y'all try to tell me what to do makes me not want to fucking do it. Do you what understand that? that? Dono said, on God you finna resume that shit. Perhaps? <laughs> okay, it started. Y'all getting a little bit too comfortable. It's starting now? Y'all going back to y'all always? Nobody pressed me, bitch ass. <laughs> yeah. Nah, nah, did I? Why do you? 
Yo, who these bitch ass niggas talking to, chat? Nah, 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 dead ass. Who these whole ass niggas talking to? What's going on, chat? No, no, they're not. They're obviously not talking to me. Cause I can sit here. I don't gotta play shit. What you gonna do? Leave? Cry? Like what you gonna do? Cry? I'm chilling. Go ahead, whole ass nigga. And look at these niggas putting crying emotion. Okay, just stop. But okay, I had a question. Chat, would y'all watch a light a, a stream every Sunday? Keep watching and stop pausing or end stream. <laughs> Would you watch a motherfucker getting tortured live every Sunday if it was being broadcasted as like a live torturing? Just okay. Don't listen to these Hear me out. Please. Let's say if they were torturing a school shooter, literally a kid that just or a person that shot up a fucking a bunch of innocent what people for no reason. Popo still no. Yes, you'll be next. I'm watching this stream and subbing. Now what's up with you? I'm asking a fucking question. Okay, on Sunday is crazy though. Okay, let's say it was a, it was like on a dog shit day of a week, like Monday or like Friday's that dog shit. But it's like oh, end of the week, time to watch a good old torturing in, to enter my weekend. No rage, no. I'm not gonna lie. In GTA in Grand Theft Auto, I don't know, bro. I'm not saying I wouldn't tune into an episode. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying I wouldn't tune into an episode of GTA. I'm not gonna lie. If it was a school shooter, bro. And I know you ain't gonna let them talk to you oh, like no. that. Oh no, bro. Oh no, bro. Handle. Like, bro, the the motherfucker that shot up a bunch of little kids, bro, for no reason, just cause I'm, I'm I might tune in for an episode of GTA, bro. I'm not gonna lie. On just how vile. I might tune in for an episode of his torturing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In 1998, it is what it is. a popular Japanese game show named Susanoo Dimpa Shonen held a it raffle is, to find their next contestant for an upcoming show they were No, y'all, y'all, chat pussy, chat man, pussy, like yo. That. When are all these That's pussies getting, like, who are y'all? A year ago? You niggas like, yeah, I'll tune into an episode. I, I might see a clip or, or two. Now you got a bunch of aim high ass niggas. A bunch of fucking camel rocking, squirrel hunting ass niggas in my, what the fuck is y'all? Holy fuck. ...on called A Life of Prizes. Nisubi ended up winning the lottery and was ecstatic. He believed this was going to be a big break for him since he was also an up-and-coming comedian. See, like, a nigga like this is fucked. He ain't do nothing. Why the fuck you torching this nigga? Like, what? And he was escorted to like, a this is small fucked. apartment where he was then instructed to take off all of his clothes in order to participate in the game. The challenge was he would have to survive in this apartment on nothing but his winnings from sweepstakes. They only okay, provided okay. him with water, and he was told that he would not be allowed to leave or communicate with the outside world or have any access to anything that he didn't directly earn through magazine sweepstakes. He was told that what? he'd need to win 1 million yen, which at the time, 1998, was right around 8,000 US dollars, through only mail-in magazine sweepstakes in order to complete Sorry, the sadistic. challenge and be released yeah, from the room. I like people see yes, get what they deserve. Food. They didn't provide him with any food. The only food he'd have access to is the food that he earns through mail-in sweepstakes. It just feels okay. like there were better odds of a bird carrying $10,000 in its mouth crashing through the apartment Fuck. window than actually earning 10 grand through mail-in sweepstakes. Oh, scam. <laughs> this shit is like something you would actually hear of like fucked up prison guards at Guantanamo Bay doing as like a joke or something. It's so cruel Yo, this and is brutally fucks. difficult. But Nisubi did actually pull it off. It took Nisubi what? 335 days total to finally make enough money to be released from it. Or at least, so you'd think. This okay. is actually only the tip of the iceberg here, but I just want to give you the story in a nutshell. And I also want to explain the name Nisubi. Because that's not actually the contestant's real name. His actual name is Tomoaki Hamatsu. What the shit the is that? The name Nisubi actually means eggplant. And he got this because the producers used an eggplant to censor his genitals for the broadcast. And they also said that his head resembled the shape of an eggplant. The whole point of the Susan Susanoo Dinpa Shonen broadcast here was to laugh at Nisubi. And people were. 17 million people having an old hoot and a holler, uh, real side-splitting comedy, watching a man be legitimately tortured. Nasubi believed that he was being recorded and that the mm -hmm. clips were going to be re-edited and broadcast for TV. So he would come in and like update people on what he's doing. Like, I just won this can of cat food. Uh, I just won this bicycle. Bro. And then he'd like, dance around and try and make it entertaining. But he never knew 
that he was being live streamed the whole time. He was under the impression yeah. that it was just going to be moments from the challenge. How was that Not fucking that like every legal? Excruciating second of this challenge was being broadcast to all of Japan. Extremely fucked situation, and this is just the bare outline of it. What I want to do for this video is actually go through a lot oh, of no. clips and moments from this live stream and the broadcast as well as just everything surrounding it because it is so baffling it what is bizarre that this actually happened i remember vsauce did a video on what happens to the mind when you're cut off from stimulation in the outside world for an extended period of time and talking about your chat listen unsurprisingly listen. it is so psychologically damaging to be completely alone and isolated like nasubi was Okay. And Vsauce only did like a few days. Nisubi did over. Okay, I, I, I could I could see why a lot of y'all are fucking like weird and type much of dumb shit in the chat. A lot of y'all like isolated from like the real world and shit. You don't really get human interaction um, besides the porn videos y'all beat off too. So I gotta I got I gotta be I gotta I gotta be more, you know, nice to y'all. I gotta be more understanding. A year, fifteen months total. <laughs> な、な、なんと。脱いで。書いていると。はい。誰かが来た。はい。来た。第1号。気分フードキミファさんのファイバーゼリー12個入りでございます。いただきます。This was Nasubi's first big win of Fat Dubski. He was able to secure 12 pots of fiber jelly. I don't know what fiber the fuck fiber jelly. jelly is. I've never heard of it in my life. Fiber it sounds like a made-up substance in the movie Snowpiercer. But it was huge for Nasubi because it's his first bit of food since this started. So he was extremely hungry. Fiber and was able to jelly. get some nutrients. This wasn't the first thing he applied for, though. The first sweepstakes he was entering were for clothing items. He wanted to cover up, obviously, because being naked is going to be cold, uncomfortable, yeah. especially since it's being filmed. So he had applied for an apron first. But he didn't win. Obviously, since Nasubi was trapped in isolation, cut off from the rest of the world, he cherished every single knock at that door. It was the right. only bit of human interaction he gets. So he'd get excited, and of course, he's expecting to win something, since why else would someone be knocking at that door? Mm -hmm. So he gets really hyped up, like, hey, finally something came that's going to help me get closer to completing this challenge, or maybe it's food and I'm starving. But that wasn't always the case. Like in these two clips here, sometimes it was just fucking cruel, where... A postman knocked on his door just to let him know that he needs to put his name on the mailbox That's or some fucked. shit. That's and then fucked. also someone put That's the wrong mentally address for fucked. a ramen delivery. So he couldn't That's even have the ramen. Fucked. It. It, like, it was just really sad to see. Yo. Finally, it seems fortune's looking up for Nasubi here. He's able to secure five kilograms of rice. But then things get heartbreaking when he realizes he has no way of cooking the rice because he'd need to win a pot from a oh sweet sticks my God, in order to oh use my it. God, so oh he my just God, has five oh kilograms God. of rice that he can't cook. Oh it, it's fucking terrible. God, oh my God, you know, like oh it's, God, it's a treasure that you can't have. Yo. So he, he gets desperate and he starts resorting to eating the rice raw. <laughs> ママ<笑> Unable to continue eating the rice raw, Nasubi knew he needed to find some way to cook it, so he went IQ. full fucking Jimmy Neutron. IQ. Here. He has an idea That's just to IQ. put the rice into one of the jelly fiber containers, fucking IQ. and he put hot water in it, left it out overnight, hoping to make it somewhat cooked. 
as you can see in the clip he said uh, even if it's gruel just make it into something it didn't work at all so he came up with another plan to put it in the fiber jelly container put it in the hot water and set it next to the gas burner so that way it would kind of cook it by mm. proxy and this worked it was able to cook the rice and Aren't now you? he had an efficient way of actually eating that nice. rice that he won <laughs> only anonymous then for the 10 gifts <laughs> Slowly but surely, the this fucking be burning calories that he doesn't have. That's goal, tough. Winning more and more prizes, such as a bicycle, which on the surface seems pretty useless since he couldn't take it outside. But Wait, so how much does he need to get to be let free? Like a good way of stimulating him, because what the fuck else are you gonna do? So he'd eat his watery 8K? rice while pedaling on the bicycle, and he started gathering Damn. more and more winnings. It started to look like my fucking dorm room from college, just. A bicycle and all kinds of miscellaneous shit all over the place. He also upgraded his whole cooking operation in a can of sake. He was able to create a pretty efficient cooking apparatus. So he was able to make rice more efficiently. He was even able to cook spaghetti now. So right. he was really like climbing up the tech tree here by okay. just being an absolute fucking genius. Genius, bro. And it's also worth noting some of the more useless things he won, like the bicycle, wasn't entirely worthless because that helped increase the value of his winnings, bringing right. him closer to that million yen mark. Right. So even if he couldn't get a ton of usage out of it directly, just having it in, mm. the, in the room was beneficial because it gets him closer to being done with the challenge. Now it's been about two months in this clip no here, and according to Atrocity, way, he managed to bro. 5,748 sweepstakes entries in the first month. So you can imagine that he's right around that 11,000, 12,000 sweepsta sweepstake entry ballpark. That's annoying. And he is just now winning his first article of clothing, which are used panties from someone named Hitomi-chan. I want to say I had no idea the used panty market spanned this far back in time. This is 1998. You I thought soiled panties, used socks and bath water were things women started selling within the Those last live decade shit. to take yeah. advantage of like internet sales. I had no idea that this was a popular market all the way back into the 90s. But anyway, Nasubi wins these panties. It's his only article of clothing he's won so far, but they don't fit, unfortunately. I found this one to be extraordinarily sad, so uh, still around two months now. He's had no contact with any human beings dog, aside bro. from the delivery guy just dropping off his winnings. He yo, I, I, I try to hold that security guy there as, for as long as I can. Like, yo, like, how's your day, bro? Like, how's life out there? Is, like, everything normal? Who's going, what's going on? Like, what's going on in the news? Like, like... That's tough, bro. Wins a stuff seal, which he I can imagine dude was like, yeah, shut the fuck up, go back inside, I'm out of here. Names Binasu, and takes him for a walk. It's his only source of companionship. That shit just Fucked. breaks my heart to see. I I'm not gonna lie. Okay, you gotta be careful the way you cook that. You don't wanna, you don't wanna get sick. Gotta make sure you can cook that. Nice. Keep it over the fire. This is his first time winning a direct source of protein. Up until this point, his diet was mainly just the rice and like spaghetti. So no, he'd be bro. getting trace amounts of protein, but never something like steak. His macros had to be so fucked from this, but he finally gets steak. And he cooks it by using a ballpoint pin to cook it over the direct flame. And he gets to eat it and is super happy about it. I'd also like to highlight wow, something bro. in that note he wrote. He said, in the life of a poor comedian, he's only used the word steak in his imagination. I think this is big because prior to this challenge, Nisubi wasn't a popular comedian in Japan. He wasn't well off or anything like that. Broke it he, with a pen, you know, he, bro. He, yes, this was his bro. Big break, which is why he was so excited to be a part of the show. Pen, bro. And then... 
he, he gets tortured. It's so fucking cruel. I, like, you can't help Yo, but feel absolutely months, horrible for this 21 guy. 21 months. Jesus. Much of shit that he does not need. Uh, what is that? What is that? What's he eating? What is that? What was that? What's that he's eating? Uncooked? No, it can't be the meat. Uh, no way. No way. Mm. What? He wins a PlayStation game no, no, as no, well no, as a special no. controller for it, but he doesn't have a PlayStation or a TV to play it on. Yeah. He then right. also wins raw pork and raw crab and eats it raw because he didn't really have an efficient way of cooking those. And you can see that he talks a lot to the stuffed seal. This is very much like a castaway situation with Wilson. What? He, when you're the deprived fuck? of human contact for as long as Nasubi has been, you start mm. to try and find ways of being social. Humans mm. are social creatures by nature, mm -hmm. which is why it's so torturous to be deprived of that. It's fucking brutal. It's been right around three months by this point, and he is not even halfway done to the million yen goal. <laughs> Okay, has a TV. Bro, there's gonna be no type of cable though. I didn't even think of that. This whole time he wasn't able to brush it. Oh my god. He's able to win a vacuum cleaner which enables him to clean the room for the Bro, first chat. time in three months. And then wins a TV which would have been great because he'd finally have some source of entertainment. But unfortunately since there was no antenna Bro. it was useless because it would only play static. And he still didn't have a PlayStation that like Look at me staring at the static. game that he won. So the TV was just a source of fucking white noise, I suppose. And then he finally gets something really, really useful, which is a toothbrush and toothpaste, which lets him brush his teeth for the first time in three months. This is one component that I always see yeah. left out for all of the publications or videos that talk about the horror of the Nasubi story. They actually had a doctor come in and check up on him. The staff wanted to make sure that he wasn't like on the brink of death or that he hadn't contracted any like serious disease or anything. Good no, they, they just wanted to make sure he's still fucking his breathing and his heart was beating. Yeah, That's did, it. Like, a blood and urine test or so they claim and then gave him a clean bill of health. Now, assuming that that's all legitimate and not just, you know, theatrics for the television Nigga just said, program. Okay, I, I hear something. Say, this doesn't take yeah, open your mouth. The actual okay, torture you're alive. This man Let's is go. Enduring. Like, even if his vitals are okay, he doesn't have a disease or any, like, big alarming health concerns. That's this is a man think. that has been deprived of sunlight, socialization, entertainment, and just basic Nigga's brain is rotting for three months by this point. So even if all the blood work and all of that is within normal limits, this no, is a man his, who is still... His... <laughs> They, it's literally impot look chat impossible for his blood to be in it like literally no like that's it, it, they lie they can't they can't. impossible unless you're an alien that doesn't need nutrients and shit impossible it can't like literally no like, well, impossible they lied they kept okay. their ass off and to try and everything's in like, the no, red everything's great nasubi's happy and this is a totally fine by the books thing look the doctor even says so is even more scummy and shitty いや、なことに気づいてしまった。命の源お米が米袋の底に溜まってる程度になってしまってる。ついに今日で最後か。これが最後のお米です。はい。僕のです。ロー。ノー。I'm not going to Fuck. No, my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart. Looking at this, looking at his face, bro, bro, bro. That's sad as fuck. Suruto. <laughs> 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 
。まずい。ダッグフードでーす。チャット、Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. This is not it. 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 Somehow, the story keeps getting more tragic. The rice that he won on the 20th day was finally running out, and he was unable to win any more during this time. So, he resorted to eating dog food. And dog food became the. If there was a snack, if there was a food you didn't have to cook, like in a microwave, that you could eat every single day for like. What would you choose? What do you think would be like the healthiest or like what would you live off of? One thing watermelon, fruits and shit. What if you don't have a fridge? Like, mind you, you have nothing. You're just sitting in a box, there's nothing besides water. You're in a box with nothing. Jerky? Because jerky could sit, huh? Tuna? Things with tuna. The tuna is gonna be assless. You got mayo, some seasonings. I can't just be do tuna. I love tuna and I can't choose tuna. Protein bars, okay. Potato chips, okay. Oats? Oats is kind of smart. Like, not oats, fucking like nuts and shit. Nuts and shit? That's pretty smart. Eggs? So you're just gonna crack a raw egg and drink that motherfucker? You can't cook the egg, brother. Granola. Granola. Granola bars would be cool. Damn, McDonald's. Okay. <laughs> okay! <laughs> I want you to see what a month worth of McDonald's not being in the fridge or heated up looks like in a month or two. Yeah, get back to me, motherfucker. She's gonna turn fucking green. Primary thing Fucking that he purple. Was eating, it was like his main diet. So he was surviving. You see shit growing diet. out the motherfucking and patties and shit like these. Times that I also Ew! Question is I don't even think about that. Of, like, what McDonald's. Up. Because it would have been very easy for producers to intercept things that Nasubi had won if they were too helpful. Like, I find it very Ew. odd that the only thing Nasubi won in terms of clothing throughout all 15 months With some panties. was a pair of panties. That seems so unrealistic. I really Magus, think there may have been foul shut up. play, and this is just a conspiracy, where the producers intercepted clothes. It gotta be. There's gotta be some type of, like, 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 like bro, like, everything that you really need, like, clothes, and the one clothes he got was, haha, used panties. What is it from, chat? The Punty Raid. What's that from, chat? <laughs> yo, that nigga's stupid, bro. That nigga, In yo, my bro, yo, that show, the of the yo. comedy of the show. And I think that there could have been a lot of cases like that. There's Punty also nothing right. that would have stopped them from sending things he didn't win, like dog food. He may have never, like, entered a dog food sweepstakes, and they could have sent it to him in order to further humiliate and torture him Avatar, for the, okay, for the audience. The fuck up. There's just so much shit in here that is beyond cruel and unusual. Like, it's it fucked. blows my mind it's that fucked. this is something that actually happened to a real human being. Come here, you Luckily, he was able to. Wait, what did he say? What was he saying? Is emotionally moved by winning the rice he cries. Luckily, he was able to win rice three months later. He won 10 kilograms of rice about three ish months after mainly surviving off dog food as well as a couple of. That was three months. Other foods that he'd win here and there, but dog food for a while was three like his primary source food? of nutrition. And then he finally gets rice again. Now it's been about six months ish, and he is finally halfway to the goal. In six months, he reaches the halfway point. According to Atrocity Guide, he has submitted thirty-eight thousand entries by this point. Thirty-eight thousand sweepstakes entries. In six months, and he is only bro, bro, chat. Just imagine you filling out thirty-eight thousand entries of. Think about that number, mind you. Imagine counting to thirty-eight thousand. Now think about filling out thirty-eight thousand sweepstakes and waiting. Yo, halfway to the goal. <laughs> That fucking flashlight, I had that in my house. What the fuck? 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 What the fuck?
まあ全部揃ってるというか引っ越しっていうことなんですか Just when you thought it couldn't get more fucked up. So, what happened here is this show was so popular, people eventually found out where Nisubi was being held. So, there was paparazzi, reporters, and everything that all were crowding around the space. So, the producers、Damn. moved him to an identical space. And they found、no、out where the fuck this spot is at. Was. It was super far away. It was like five hours away, I believe. And this whole time, Nisubi thought, oh, I must have won. But it turns out he didn't. They were just moving him to continue the game in a different location. It looks like actual kidnapping, and to a certain extent it is. The entire time, Nisubi is kind of delirious. He hasn't talked to people in a long time. He even says his mind is clouded、Bro. with anxiety, and he's saying things that don't make、Bro. any sense. He's unable to really talk. To people or, or talk around people in general. He's like completely lost that ability due to right around six months in total isolation. しかし、この企画が放送されていることを知らないナスビにプロデューサーはなんか、演技担ぎ。じゃあ、私のためってことですね、これは。身に余る光栄です。The team told Nasubi that he was moved to a new location for renewed luck, so better fortune at a new spot, because they didn't want to tell him the real reason that they were relocating him. So they came up、Fucking、with that. Fucking dickheads, bro. I'm pretty sure Nasubi doesn't believe them because he kind of laughs about it, saying, oh, so it's for my own benefit. Ted I, I think he's very well aware now that this is a pretty fucking evil team of producers here, and whatever reason they had for moving him. Probably wasn't for his own benefit. And that bitch, that, the, the, it's just locked, right? I, I, I don't know if I was paying attention to the point where, like, he, why can't he just say, fuck this, I quit? Like, I'm gone. Like, I don't know. Like, when the delivery dude comes to bring food, run out the fucking door or some shit. He can sign the contract. He can. Why are people saying he can? Oh, he said he chose to stay. He changed because of money. Yeah, yeah, he's in the, yeah, true, the money. Yeah. His nails! His first win in the new location actually is a fucking fat one. He gets a new desk, a new chair. They're both relatively expensive, too, so that's a great victory for him. And he shows his nails. The nail growth is outrageous. He hasn't I'm not gonna lie.、Them. I would have been buying my shit. I would have been buying my shit after a certain point. At a certain point, I would have started buying my shit. I'm not gonna lie. Because there's no way. There's no way. I know at the same time, that's not something you're focused on. Really? Because I'm not gonna lie. I, my, my nails grow out. So, not like that, but my nails get kind of long sometimes too. But like, it gets to a point where it's like interfering with like clicking on shit. Nah, bro. In about six months now. Like, he is genuinely a prisoner here, and it shows. And with this room switch, producers decided to offer a live web stream alternative, causing them to digitally follow Nasubi around with a joystick in order to censor his genitalia. As you can see, the quality of the live stream is primitive, but keep in mind this is in the late 90s. I couldn't actually find a high quality clip showing how they censored the live stream or did the live broadcast, so this comes from Atrocity Guide as well.、Mm -hmm. What they did is the producers had a whole team that was dedicated to following the Subi around with a joystick like they were playing a fucking arcade、so、game. What the fuck happens when they fuck up? To keep his dick and balls off the screen. And they live streamed him. They wanted to offer a real time alternative instead of just doing like the weekly. Nisubi update with clips. They wanted 24 7 Nisubi coverage for anyone、OG、that wanted、Twitch、to go watch. Fire, bro, so, this was pretty innovative for its time. I think it's definitely one of the first, like, actual around the clock live streams that ever actually aired. It's pretty yeah, it's impressive. Okay. ナスビのあまりの運のなさに見返ったスタッフは倒産運の上昇を願い2度目の引っ越しを決めたのだった。
So Nasubi initially had a good string of luck at the new location. I believe, according to Atrocity Guide, he had done 17,000 entries and won decent stuff, okay. but then hit a really bad cold streak, even ran out of food at one point. So the producers did move him again to another location to help him out in winning more prizes, I suppose. And it worked because okay. he did win more prizes. Okay. Shit. Oh, I would have been like, mm -hmm. oh, I would have been nutting, bro. I would, I would have been just like this, bro. Oh, I would have been. Oh my god, I would have been fucking the bag, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You're eating fucking dog food and fucking weird jelly and rice, r raw rice. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I see a potato chip and I'm doing the same motherfucking thing too, bro. I don't. Yes, just like that. <sighs> I'm busting on every bite too, bro. Yeah, do what you gotta do. Punch on that fucking shit. You gotta savor it though, please. One chip a day or some shit, bro. VHS. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, so what does that mean? What are they trying to apply here, chat? Tell me right now. He hasn't wiped his asshole in 10 months? Hold on, there has to be an estimation. Finally wins food again and really he has to have a wash. Potato chip. He has to have a... And he also gets a VHS player, which will be nice to go with the TV. Do he stick his booty in the sink? A VHS tape to play it. But he showers. the there most has to be a shower. important thing he wins here is toilet paper. This is the first time no, 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 he's no, no, had no. toilet paper in his entire stay. 10 months so far. And to celebrate, he tries to take a shit just out of frame, but was unable well, to. Well, time out, so Mr. Presidential, for na 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 seconds for me. Toilet paper. Yes, Yes, what? Yo, yo, yo. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit. The fucking OG, bro. Now, this is by far the meatiest win he's gotten so far. That's the far. first console I've ever had, bro. That's pretty expensive, especially during this time period. And my first hand it was a Game Boy Color. Real entertainment for the first time in 10 months. This, My this dad is had like a, a 64 moment that's and straight shit. out of like civilization. But it was a mind. up the tech tree slowly but surely. Eight months prior to this, he won a PlayStation 1 game, Dinshi to Go, which also had the special controller to go with it. Couldn't play it, obviously, at the time. Got the PlayStation Six months ago, now, he won a TV. So he had a PlayStation game, a controller, a TV, but no console. He finally got that last missing piece of the puzzle, the console, and is able to play PlayStation games now. Well... The single PlayStation game he's won. And what's really interesting about this is this is his first piece of actual entertainment he's had since being fucking imprisoned here. But also, and this was pointed out by Caleb, this would make him the okay. world's first video game live streamer because he this is, is all being live. He is the first video game live streamer ever. This guy right here, pioneer, a pillar. <laughs> He paved the mother- Yes, he paved the motherfucking way for us, bro. He owns you. You're dead. Okay, okay, okay. Live streamed. All of this is a live broadcast. And he spent four straight days- He made you. Playing his PlayStation. <laughs> he ran- <laughs> Look at that, he ran so he could- So, so we could walk. So for four straight days, he was being streamed, playing a game. This man was the patient zero of streaming. Stupid. He walked so Twitch could run. Yeah, it's all the way around, motherfucker. You said it wrong. Chat, you said it wrong, bro. He played so much Dinsha to go that he had to ban himself from playing it further so he could focus on entering into more sweepstakes and He's getting him. closer to freedom. He's him. So, he stopped playing the game, went back to writing entries. That's true. That's the thing. 
every second spent there or most of the time he has to spend writing entries yes that playstation is a gift but it's a curse at the same time he can't spend too much time on it or he's gonna be there long that's crazy bro that's crazy that's crazy he was able to do it he pulled off the last remaining prizes he needed to reach that million yen mark <laughs> The tires put him extremely close to completing the challenge. He was right at the finish line here, so close he could throw the Dinsha to go disc right over the finish line. Only a couple more wins would secure this, and he was able to pull it off. The final item he won that put him over the million yen threshold was a bag of rice. But Nisubi didn't know he won. It had been 335 straight days of constant, non-stop, relentless filling out of sweepstakes in order to win these prizes. 335 days of torture, and Nisubi had finally reached the finish line, but didn't know it. Did he just... Oh, party pop. I thought he just slapped that nigga. Goal was a cracker of Per usual, the producers come in like a group of burglars during the night and start popping party poppers in his face, which scares the shit out of him Fuck. and really confuses him. Uh, they eventually explain that he did win, he made a million yen, and they give him his clothes back. It's been 11 months and one day, and this is the first time Nisubi is putting clothes on in that entire time frame. So when he puts them on, he says that it's uncomfortable and itchy, uh, but he's very, very, very Damn. happy to be done with the contest and glad that he's completed it. Damn. But that's not where this story ends. <laughs> The producers took this <laughs> He tries- what? He tries ribs and nearly passes out. Yo, I'm, oh, I'm trying to imagine myself being locked away for a year, eating dog food, raw rice, and getting my first taste of like Chipotle bowl. Some Haitian food, some Jamaican food, oh, some chicken and rice. Oh, 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 fuck. Yo, I'd come. I did come. I did come. I'd, I'd, oh my god. Oh my god. The I'd ejaculate. Took I will to Korea, ejaculate. Telling him it was a celebration for completing the game and for all of his hard work, so they went to an amusement park. He ate a lot of great Your food. Your face cam is on? Ah, uh, he had a wonderful, incredible time, and then things got real fucked up. So cool. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. Do not piss me off, bro. Do not piss me off. Do not piss me off. Nisubi was making them far too much money. The producers weren't done suckling from this cash cow's teat, so they trapped Nisubi in Korea. The goal this time wasn't a million yen. This time he was going to have to enter sweepstakes in Korea, which he didn't speak Korean, so he had to use a Korean to Japanese dictionary to translate. His goal was to enter the sweepstakes, win prizes, uh, enough to afford a plane ticket from... Yo, yo. I don't... Are these... Yo, yo, you Japanese... You niggas out there in Japan. I want you to go out there and find... In GTA. I want you to find... 
find the mastermind, the brains behind this whole fucking operation, okay? I want you to, I want you to, I want you to get him, you right? And put him in a fucking box, okay? And make him do the same shit, okay? Make him do it! The fucker. From Korea to Japan. In GTA. That was the objective. He was stripped naked yet again and forced to endure the same torture that he had already endured for 335 days prior. I would like to make a mention here. There is a moment where the producer says, if you don't want to do this, just say so. To which Nasubi responds, I'll do it. So I don't think they had ever forced him against his- They brainwashed this nigga, bro. They brain- There's something- There's something- There's something- Something they told him that we don't know about. There's something they told him that, they, that he don't know about. There's something they told him that we don't know about, bro. They, 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 they holding this nigga family hostage or some shit. Cause there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's, there's some, there's some going on we don't know about. There's some. His will to complete these challenges, but he was pretty much promised fame after doing these things. So in the pursuit of Nasubi's big dreams, he allowed himself to be tortured mercilessly for 15 months. <laughs> This time around, however, Nasubi went fucking plus ultra, straight up turbo mode. He had become a master at this shit. Mm -hmm. So he was actually able to complete this challenge. Talk to me. Just give me a good ending. Months, give me a good ending. Give me a good ending. The producers very upset because he didn't suffer long enough. So they increased the challenge duration. They moved the goalpost. Instead of just getting a one-way ticket from Korea to Japan in economy class, they required him to get an additional 9,000 yen in prize winnings to upgrade that ticket to business class. Yeah, more scummy evil shit from the producers here. They never even told him he initially completed the goal here. They just let him keep writing postcards until he'd gather another 9,000 yen. They didn't want him to win quickly. They didn't really want him to win at all because the longer he struggles and suffers, the more money they were making. So they let him just keep going and tried to spin it as a positive thing. Like, look at how hard Nasubi's working. We're not going to let him fly in economy class. So the new goal is business class because it's what Nasubi would want. Just genuinely fucked shit. Let my nigga out! Alright, get him out! Nasubi, go! Nasubi easily gathered the remaining 9,500 yen after winning some expensive tea leaves, so he was absolutely slapping the producer's bottoms, like he was going hog wild right now. So again, they increased the goal without ever telling him. Now, business class wasn't good enough, now it was going to have to be a first class ticket, which was an additional- And then what?! A private fucking jet?! Was the Andrew Tate nigga?! 20,000 yen, I believe, which, again, was pretty quick for Nasubi to gather. He won a live octopus, a big picture frame, and was able to gather enough money through prizes pretty quickly to get that final rank up to first class passenger. So then he finally gets the ticket from Korea to Japan in first class, and it's over. Yo, I'll yo, knock this nigga out, Natsubi. Yo, don't give him a fucking grand slam! But the story wouldn't be complete without one more final act of cruelty towards Nasubi. They blindfold him, put noise cancelling headphones on him, disorient him, and drag him on stage into a mock room designed to look like the rooms that he'd been staying in for the last 15 months. So out of pure instinct, he gets completely nude again. 
It's the only life he knows, so without ever being told to take his clothes off, he does it anyway. And then the walls break away, revealing a live studio audience laughing at him and congratulating him for completing the show. Nisubi is understandably confused because for 15 months he has been psychologically and physically tortured. So he doesn't understand what's Whoa. happening, he doesn't get it, and is shocked, scared, Whoa. and all around bewildered. It's just one more sick fucking joke from the producers. Millions of people watching the finale, as well as thousands in person watching him, completely naked and completely having no idea what's going on or why. The life of prizes was finally complete. And the entire show, Susanu Din Pashonen, was cancelled pretty shortly after. It didn't have like a super long run after this. But the toll that this experience took on Nasubi's life obviously That's didn't stop crazy, with the finale. Bro. He reported being uncomfortable in clothes for about That's six months crazy, afterwards, bro. and his social skills had obviously deteriorated. He said he was a lot more shy and not really able to be a comedian super well anymore because obviously he had been cut That's off for crazy, so long bro. from people. He just kind of lost the ability Maybe to carry on said, conversations bro, efficiently and overall just became a lot more reserved as a result of this. He did, however, sell his diary, the Nasubi Life of Prizes diary, like his journal. And that was a bestseller. That was a massive success. Whoa. But he himself never achieved that level of fame that he was kind of promised with a show like this. He did have certain roles in other productions and some of them pretty sizable roles in other productions, but never a massive success in Japan, even though this is like the most successful live stream in japan's history so just an overall extremely sad how's he is he alive story. right now the main producer behind this show has gone on record and said has he doesn't twitter regret nasubi he said his goal is to make miracles twitter? on film. what's his twitter and with nasubi he accomplished that goal he did apologize to nasubi and nasubi confirms that the producer did apologize to him but the apology only does fuck all like that doesn't make up for 15 months of lost human contact and health uh, you know like that's 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 a nothing burger but i guess at least he apologized even though he made millions of dollars off the back of nasubi's suffering but uh, anyway i wanted to share this story because i find it to be one of the most interesting ones when it comes to like live broadcast television as well as live streaming this is one of the first live streams and it was fucking, piece fucking of shit. bizarre extremely fucked up story uh and yeah i just wanted to share that with all of you thank you to caleb and chelsea for com uh, compiling a bunch of clips here so that way we could tell the story as best as possible and uh yeah that's about it see ya i think i found his twitter remember his real name isn't nasubi his, his his twitter at by the way great video fucking charlie league. great fucking video drop that like yo plus let me have this plus let me have this shit Y'all not gonna be able to see it. It's fucking Hamatsu, H-A-M-A-T-S-U, Tomakai, Tomakai. So it's like this, Hamatsu, if y'all want it. That's his, that's his Twitter, that's that nigga Twitter. That's his Twitter, bro. Said I'm on three plus right now, if I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really on it. Look at you, just window shopping that new bag I bought.